Love languages can be something we often overlook in relationships, but they can be really important when you're trying to consider different attachment styles. For those of you that don't know, there are five different love languages. Quality time, words of affirmation, gifts, physical touch, and acts of service. Now, when it comes to different attachment styles, they usually have one primary and one secondary love language, generally speaking. When it comes to dating, having a partner that knows how to communicate with your love language, but also knows their love language can go a very long way to creating earned security within that relationship. First up, we have avoidance. Many of them often appreciate words of affirmation in relationships. This could be anything from commenting on how you appreciate they help out with the chores around the house, their ability to effectively communicate during stressful situations, and their ability to validate your experience during those stressful situations. Next up, we have fearful avoidance, and many FAs almost always cherish personal time together or quality time. This can be the form of spending time watching a movie together at night after a long busy day, going on a nice date or a picnic or a hike, basically anything where you're both interacting with each other because that's where the bonding can happen for this attachment style. And lastly, we have anxious attachment and many people with this attachment style appreciate physical touch. However, quality time can also be a dominant love language for people with anxious attachment styles. It can be very easy to overlook someone's ability to love and be loved based on their attachment style, especially on TikTok, but knowing your dominant love languages and your partner's love languages can be very critical when it comes to resolving conflict in relationships. If you think of these as actual languages heard around the world, knowing how to communicate in multiple love languages will not only help your ability to add security to the relationship, but it will also help you heal your attachment style as that security is created. So just because someone has an insecure attachment style and activating or deactivating strategies doesn't mean you're going to be unable to be heard or be seen within that relationship. You just need to know how they best communicate during rupture and repair because resolving conflict is a multilingual conversation.